The Star Wars show just revealed two new First Order vehicles that will be making their debut in The Last Jedi this December. So let's break them down, talk about what we know so far, and compare them to what came before. Let's start with the ATM-6, the new walker that we've heard rumors about and seen toys of. Well, we now have its official name. It is the All-Terrain Mega Caliber 6 walker. To me, this sounds like Kylo Ren named it himself. Mega Caliber. Seems a little over the top if I'm being completely honest, but it is named for the heavy artillery laser cannon on its back, which is, you guessed it, the Mega Caliber 6. This is an interesting take on the naming convention because I don't think we've ever had a number in an AT Walker's name. So take that all you people saying The Last Jedi will just be a rehash of Empire, they're already breaking new ground. As for size, we don't have any specifics yet, except for a statement that they are way bigger than a standard AT-AT. We also get confirmation that they move somewhat like gorillas, which makes sense, as people had been referring to them as gorilla walkers up until now. Their stabilization was specifically mentioned, so I'm guessing harpoons and tow cables are out of the question this time around. I think I'd actually like to see some Resistance pilot attempt that just to show that the First Order is learning some lessons from their Imperial history. Moving on, let's talk about the First Order Dreadnought. More technically called a mandatory four-class warship, it's armed with two enormous orbital autocannons for large-scale bombardments. I can't imagine we wouldn't see them in action in the film, so maybe we'll see an orbital strike for the very first time on the big screen. The ship measures in at 7,669.72 meters, or 25,162.8 feet. Those are incredibly specific measurements, but hey, I dig it. For comparison, a standard Imperial Star Destroyer is 1,600 meters long. The Resurgent-class battlecruiser from The Force Awakens was just under 3,000 meters long, and the Executor Super Star Destroyer was 19,000 meters long. So it's big, of course, but not Super Star Destroyer big. That makes sense considering the First Order is, as far as we know, a much smaller operation. And finally, we know it's armed on top with 24 point defense anti-aircraft cannons. The design of this thing is very interesting to me, just very flat, like the First Order took the design of a Star Destroyer down to its base elements. Maybe that's to help symbolize First Order ideology, or maybe I'm looking into this way too much. I'll leave that to you to decide. But that's all we know about them so far, so now it's time to tell me what you think. Do you like these new vehicles? What do you think we'll see from them in the movie? Let me know in the comments. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel to keep up with Star Wars movie news and lore every single day, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out my Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.